Alright, so our role now is to go into San Mateo. And in San Mateo, we will be getting intelligence first and foremost. And uh, we will try and head towards San Mateo Bravo above all else. However, this is an island and I don't really see a helicopter. So we better grab the nearest boat out of here. And head into San Mateo. I'll drive. All aboard. You know, I can't really blame them. I can't blame them for jumping into the water. Because basically, between what they're wearing and uh, the weather outside, it's gotta be hot. Come on, guys. You can do this. You can climb up on the boat. Yeah, teleporting is fine, too. Alright, we resumbled. Let's roll. Let's see. We, I don't think we want to uh, hit landfall right in Elysian Town. I think we want to make landfall next to Elysian Town. And the reason because of that is... Now, of course, one of you might wonder, why aren't you fast traveling? Well, part of my uh, mission statement for the ghost mode is that I don't summon vehicles and I don't fast travel. I get to fast travel sometime. It, like, if I needed to fast travel within <coughs> an old region to get to a new region quicker. But I'm not allowed to fast travel straight into a region. Or if it's a reasonable traveling distance. So we need to find some wheels to get ourselves into San Mateo. Basically, this is living off the land tactics. And it also prevents us from uh, basically using my DLC uh, vehicles as cheating. Because I have quite a few of them through the loot boxes. Right, uh, stop the car. The funny, thing, the funny thing is that had he, had he just uh, left well enough alone... It's kind of... It's not really fun, but had he just kept driving, it's not like we could have shot him. We're not really allowed to. Let's touch base in San Mateo and find a safe house the first thing we do. Of course, my team knows we're heading into San Mateo, and they are equipped for arid conditions. Roman, this is Nomad. What have you got on San Mateo? San Mateo. Over the past few years, a lot of people have been disappearing from that province. Politicians, rebel sympathizers. Anyone who's making life hard for the cartel. Anybody who ain't the cartel, period. We're talking hundreds of individuals, gone without a trace. Santa Blanca is definitely behind the disappearances, but no bodies have ever been found. Find out what happened to these people. Their families need a place to start looking. Then make sure this shit stops happening. Understood. Alright, let's see where we have... We have intel down the street here, actually, so we might as well... ...back up... ...and head for the intel. Let's shut up the radio. We don't need any more of that propaganda. Lots of cartel back there. Alright. Prepare to infiltrate, take the information we need, and get the hell out. Let's park in the shadow. Up. Droning the area. Oh, come on. We don't need the fucking tutorials. Why does this thing keep insisting on that? There we go. Tutorial messages are off. And hopefully we can now get on with our lives. We got alarms rigged up. Yeah, we got an alarm. A prison facility with several rebels. Uh, we have we another alarm. So there's... A total of two alarms. Uh, both needs to be disabled before we do anything else. 
So uh, we also have an armory and a sand the launcher. We also have a generator. Oh crap, that guy's going to spot us pretty much immediately unless we take him out. Now, Santa Blanca is kind of stupid because they seem to think that just sending one dude out on patrol is going to do it. Let's stay low until we have a clear shot. Tango down. Eyes oh crap, another one. There, by the room. The He's down. Alright, they know we're here now. I don't think uh, we should push this. I do not think. I think pushing this right now would be fucking stupid. Alright. Let's do one thing at least. Take out the generator and go. This thing just went south. One of the alarms is down. I'm going to see if I can get the other one. Yeah, alarms are out. We need to find a way inside. They're hunting us. They d are not sure about our position, at least. Alright, we're inside. But we're not going to blow up the network station. As much as I would like to, we don't have time for that right now. Tango, straight ahead. Tango down. <sighs> this could have started a lot better. Stay low, people. Rally on me. Rally, Rally on me, and let's... Let's help out our rebel friends. The rebels should be able to get armaments now and cause a bit of a distraction for us. Tango down. Tango down. Another one right next by the... Should be someone around there. Yeah. Tango down. We got him. Nice. Enemy grenade just blew up. Let's secure this building and grab the intel. Might as well grab this as well. Got a reference here to a large cartel prison at a village called Rosario. They kept a lot of rebel sympathizers there. Even the sloppiest prisons keep records. Yeah, the warden's office might have intel on some of the people who have disappeared. Let's check it out. All aboard, Hang we're on, heading I'll out. Die. To the market, Jeeves. I think we should liberate that helicopter. I mean, it's not like anyone's actually guarding it, and if it's not guarded, then they clearly don't want it. Alright, good to go. Hold, Midas, get on board. They are shooting at us. You're clear to return fire. I say again, you're clear to return fire. Okay, so the prison is right there. Rosario Village has been turned into a cartel prison camp. Search the warden's office for intel on the prisoners who've been held there. It might give us a lead on the disappearances. Copy that, Bowman. We are on our way. Now, this prison level is one of the more annoying ones in the game. Fortunately, since it's so fucking annoying, I have enough experience with it to actually, hopefully, pull it off. So the first thing we're gonna do is settle down on one of the heights here, close by. 
cartel just put up a wall and turned the whole village into a prison. What's the play? Same as before. Get inside, find the warden's office, search it for intel on the missing people. There have to be answers behind those walls. Let's move. We haven't even gotten our, a chance to reload yet, but we have enough ammunition for our submachine gun. That, that doesn't really matter. Great mortars. Watch out, place is rigged with an alarm. Got another tango. We got some light panels here. Sniper out there. There are a lot of tango shit here, tango and we don't want to annoy any of it, really. There's target number five. We're using the drone to scout the, both the location and... Just spotted one with submachine guns. That brings us to ten. That's gotta be the warden's office. If there are any prisoner records, they'll be in there. We need to get inside and see what we can find. I want to have as a complete record of everything in this area as I can before we move in. So that we have. Watch out, place is rigged with an alarm. Yep. The problem with taking this route in is that um, you can't really take the same route out. I think we got the. Yeah. Fortunately, he's looking the other way. He's gone. There's a patrol down on the road. We need to take them out before they realize the sniper's missing. I got a Sicario over here by the stack of tires. Tango's down. Keep it moving. Stay low. Stay. Alarm's out of commission. At least the closest one. We got civilians in the area. He's down. The guy who saw us is dead, but hopefully... Hopefully they didn't hear him sh Yeah, they- Fuck it, we're hunted. We have the second- Oh, crap. Sniper's down. The alarm is gone. They're coming right at us. Mortars! Relocate now. I think it might actually be a decent idea if we rush this tower. Oh, there's actually a sniper rifle here. We can actually use this. Uh, however, I think... It... Mortar man is down. Rally up, people. Copy. Rally up on me. I'm gonna need the cover. God damn it. I have to say, these uh, narco corridors are really growing on me. The melody on this one is pretty damn nice. Got him. Alright, let's see if we can't uh, do some more damage around here. There should be a at least one or more rebels that we can actually liberate so that they will be 
doing our doing us favors. Thank you for the rifle. It came very much in handy. Let's keep it moving. Alright, we're engaged. We need to try and break the contact. Keep an eye on that mortar. We don't want anyone else trying to go for it. Make it go boom. The guy just threw a grenade at himself. I mean, I, that was a wasted bullet. Yeah, I see him. He's down. Shit balls. Shit balls confirmed. I basically... What happened now is the very thing I'm trying to avoid. This is a drawn out shootout and it's not one that will end in a good place for us. We still have a decent amount of ammunition for our rifle at least, so there's that. Damn it, I did not hit the lock. The guy who spotted us relocated. Yeah, we're compromised again. Yeah, I see him. Cover, get to cover. Let's go. Okay, I have to make I have to make a call. Either either go or go no go. Either we basically throw away all our progress right now and and try this later on now we push let's grab this guns the guys machine gun instead and if we're gonna make this loud, we might as well make this really loud. Almost there. Alright, we're good. got a PC over here. If there's a record of the prison's inmates, it's here. No time to be choosy. We'll download every document. Download started. Stay alert, people. Download complete. Let's exfil and get the data to Bowman. I'll Roger that. There's something here we can use. that would go off. Let's go. Might as well take a car and take the main entrance. Might as well also see if we can't release the rebels. Let's keep the guns down. People are edgy enough already. They want to send a vehicle after us for some reason. Alright. Yeah, I see them. We're heading up to the gun station at the main gate, and uh, you should 
stayed at home today. Opening the gates. Crap, there's another car. Grenade, move! Grenade, move, move, move! Clear over here. Confirmed clear. Let's go. Grab the car and let's get out of here. Buckle up, people. I'm set, let's go. That was too messy. We can't afford to, to do more of that. <sighs> Let's go and check the intel at this location. Of course, we will need to try and have a pit stop somewhere along the road. To reload and get rid of this fucking machine gun that I don't even want. Indeed. All right, let's just park it here and head up into the woods. Hopefully there is an ammo box inside the camp so we can reload there. We got hostiles in the area. Hey, we got a narco in the firing post. Roger it on narco in the firing post. Move up. Heads up, we got a turret. Yeah, I see him and his little turrets. Let's move behind the rocks and see if we can't. Evade him. We need to evade him further. There are two of them in the outpost. And that is a problem. We only have our pistol unless we want to race hell with our submachine gun. I'm oh, sorry, with our machine gun. We don't want that. There's also a guy by the mortar downstairs. So let's make it very gently. Climb up and see if we can't take these guys out quietly. They're gone. Eyes on two Sicarios. Good. Good. Hear that stack of tires. Let's pick up that Bren and see if we can't at least suppress it. Yeah, our suppressors is, is compatible with Santa Blanca brands. Nice. Drone is airborne. Okay, they have a Seems jammer here. We are fucked up here. He's down. We're not gonna release the rebels until Heads up, the. We got a turret. Until the area is clear. Also, let's actually switch on the magnifier for the site. By the toilet. One down. Tango down. They found a dead body. God damn it. I got one of those cartel medals here. Some Sicario is gonna miss this. Let's grab another weapon. Yeah, that is. That is exact. We are at an ammo box. Thank you. Uh, so let's grab the 416. There it is. We have two skills available. We can, might as well check them out while we're here. No. And. Yeah. Drone speed is good. So we got a 416 now. And it's pressed and everything. Nice. He's down. I don't know when my accuracy went to shit, but hey. 
at some point it did and we are going to try and remedy that because if we keep aiming like that we are going to be dead in no time okay so we're engaged that means we should go back and let the prisoners out let them carry a bit of our burden At least it's not a big outpost. Looks like the cartel's keeping high value prisoners at a place called La Carcel de Pueblo. That's up in the hills. If these prisoners are important enough, they might know something about the people who disappeared. Can't go down. Let's grab a car and get the hell out of here. Clear. We don't have any. Oh wait, we we can actually use a frag on that shit. Fire in the hole. Grab the Santa Blanca car. Let's move. We need to keep it moving. Why oh, crap? Okay, so the next place is we can either grab Intel here or we can go for the prison here. The prison also has the G28, which is, you know, quite, uh, quite the nice gun. Uh, I do, however, think that we want to go for the major Intel here first and see what we can dig up on it. The prison level is a tricky one, and uh, I might, I want some alternatives before I commit to it, so to speak. Oh joy, this is fun. They don't want us to drive exactly through the entire prison, but um, pretty damn close by. I mean, we already raided this place once, but at least they don't want us to, you know, drive through the actual prison. That would have been silly. Okay, so this is the next place. We managed to wreck the car as well. There's always a weak spot in the wall, so let's find that one. Also, let's send up our drone to keep an eye out. Okay, so this is some kind of garage. The garage doesn't seem to be that very populated either. Either that or people are on their siesta. Spotted one with submachine guns. Yeah, I would say that we have most likely arrived in the middle of the siesta region. Also, who the fuck is in command of this place, allowing such a breach in the wall to, to even be present? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Why would you even have that sort of breach in your wall? And why wouldn't it be... Uh, speaking of that, why are so many of the Santa Blanca buildings basically just half-finished construction projects? Let's say hi to your friends. Yeah, and the uh, Caviera actually does the, her little signature move right there. We got a mounted weapon. Two tangos are down. Keep it moving. Okay, Rachel, all right. <laughs> all right, he's on the chair dead ahead. Huh? 
Who else wants Relax, them? We're still good. I found it quite funny that we couldn't actually do anything while he was on the chair. Santa Blanc is awarding some metal to a brown noser. This gives the metal's location. Move. No one here. According to this, a journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo. She's caused enough trouble that the cartel's gonna make her disappear next. We've got her 20. Let's get to her before the Sicarios do. Sounds like a nice thing to do. Let's grab the journalist first. Your buddies are about to join you. Alright, let's grab the ammunition crate and uh, reload. Make sure that we have everything we need. We good. Actually, there's a lot of more intel we can grab around here, so let's grab that. I mean, we've cleared the outpost, and if there are enough intel, why not just grab the entire the of San Who's Mateo? Up the rebel radio station back in. Got the location of a dead one right here. Yeah, if, the, if if in the name of my sanity, I'm not going to do some of the more tricky rebel operations. Uh, hello. Let's interrogate you. You better start talking, asshole. I don't get paid enough for this shit, cabron. I'll tell you. No reason why those supplies ought to go to the cartel. We can steal that cargo plane and hand the gear over to the rebels instead. Works for me. Let's go. Okay, so uh, the journalist is actually not far away. Let's go there. A Bolivian journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo for several months. Track her down and find out what she knows. That we can do. We just need to... Yeah, we good. We're gonna stick with the 417 for this one. Uh, let's just grab a car and get moving. All aboard. Let's go. Almost there. Better not roll this thing. At least I'm a better driver than Yumi Kiba. I don't know if you watched the stream last night, but... Um, well, I'm, I really shouldn't say anything because I'm a horrible driver, but... Um, yeah. Then again, she's used to the controls uh, of an Xbox and not Coming really with mouse and keyboard. Location. I mean, you wouldn't want Let's to see me driving with uh, an Xbox controller. So let's go. Speak to these guys and see what happens. Hopefully the rebels have secured the journalist and all we have to do is the extraction. Hola, camarada. What do you want, gringo? We're looking for a journalist named Lupe Vera. So are we, but it's too late. The cartel has her. They've taken her back to her base. You planning a rescue? Yes, but it would be suicide. The outpost is heavily guarded and I don't have enough troops. You do now. We need to get to Vera, whatever it takes. Then let's go. We haven't got much time. Handle, hermanos. Actually, this would not be a bad time to take a Ansel screenshot. So, let's do that. And then we head off to free the journalist. We have a contingent of rebel troops with us, so we don't... We need to find a priority targets for our mortars. And identify... Yeah, there we have it. Great. I'm calling for indirect fire. Counter battery fire go. We also need to take out that sniper immediately. My rounds are falling short. God damn it. Fuck, we're made. Okay, 
Yeah, the rebels inside the camp are now helping us. Good. Let's go. I'm moving to position. That's yours. Target acquired. Standing by. Got some rebels trading shots with the cartel. We want to back them up? Yeah, we are. Move up. Hit the Santa Blanca flank now. All right. SB in the building. Frag out. Frag out. Come mierda, culeros. Oh, come on. How did that frag not kill the guy? Let's grab more reloads and move into the camp. The rebels have most of it secured already, thankfully. I don't really know why the rebels say that they needed my help, because they clearly don't. Oh, crap. We need to keep an eye out for Cartel. Clear. Actually, let's grab the medal that before we grab the, ju the journalist. Uh, the medal should be on the second floor of this building. It's not likely we are actually going to return here, so we might as well grab it now. Okay, they're sending reinforcements. God damn it. Set up positions to repel. Frag out. Yeah, now's the time we we grab the guy, uh, grab the girl, and get the hell out. Come on. You the journalist? Me llamo Lupe Vera, but I don't know if I'll stay with journalism after this shit. To whom do I owe my rescue? We're working with Pak Katari. We need any info you got on the people who are disappearing. There is a rebel safe house near here. Everything I have on those desaparecidos is there. Then let's go get it. Okay, let's see if there's a car we can grab. Preferably one that's not burning, but uh, I'm not picky at this. Ah, crap. Basically, we have a choice between burning... Oh, crap, another one. Get, Get the hell into cover, now! At least they provided us with some wheels, but we need to take the wheels first. Okay, we're cool. Yeah, we're clear. Let's grab this car. Get inside. Up, we're leaving. Go ahead, I'll catch up. All right, you stay here and coordinate this cleanup with the rebels. Meet you later. It's not just San Mateo, you know. People are being taken from all over Bolivia, not just by the cartel. Unidad is also involved. Some officers torture and murder innocents, and then send the evidence here to be destroyed. Santa Blanca kills people all the time and leaves the bodies behind. No one cares if a sicario from a rival cartel dies. They kill a policeman? That's just the war on drugs. But the missing people? Los desaparecidos? That includes every priest or journalist who said a bad word against the cartel. Every student, bus driver, laundry woman, anyone they think might be against them. That's not just the drug war. That's a story. Damn right it is. It has to be. If Bolivians knew a tenth of the murders that the cartel and Unidad have committed, there would be rioting in the streets. The rebels would have people flooding their ranks. Hell, the rest of the world might even care. The hideout is just ahead. Good. Show us that intel on the people disappearing in San Mateo. We need to put a stop to it. We reached the rebel base and...
It's not hard to guess that Los Desaparecidos, the disappeared, have all been murdered. I've got notes on some truck the cartel uses to pick up the bodies. It's supposed to have a regular route like a fucking garbage service. That's it? What about its route? Its schedule? Nothing specific. Oh, amigo, this was hard enough to get as it is. I just know that the truck's last stop is a place where the cartel gets rid of the bodies. All right, let's photograph her notes and see what we can grab from it. What about my story? There are dozens of families, hundreds, who need answers to what happened to their loved ones. When we get answers, you'll be the one to spread the word. Adios, and gracias. I'm going to wait here for Pacatari. You should find that truck. All right, let's go. Let's head to the prison since we have a helicopter. The cartel keeps its high value prisoners at a camp up in the mountains called La Carcel del Pueblo. Liberate the prisoners and find out what they know about the disappearances. We need to be very wary about enemy air defenses at this point. San Mateo might have SAM sites. Okay, one of the camp entrances is over here by the helipad. Uh, yeah, that's not the camp entrance we actually want, though. Uh, let's check out the other camp entrance, see if that's more to our liking. Of course, we could just parachute into the camp, but that would just make it leave us surrounded. So we're gonna take the road up ahead, and uh, yeah, this is the road right here. Just set her down. Basically, we come in the back way. Hopefully, Unidad will stay out of this. We've got enemy activity nearby. Copy that. Getting Sniper, in position. Top of the tower. Let me find Sniper a good position. Alright, they're Target all yours. Acquired. Good to go. Tango down. Well done. I'm sending up a drone to do further reconnaissance. Got an alarm. Roger that. That alarm is our priority. Preferably we would get the lights as well, but uh, that might be more overt measure. <sighs> Alarm is gone. Alarm is off. One of the lamps just died. Check this spot out for intel. Nah, we're good on intel. The drone is up. Sniper on that roof. What we do, however, need is to make sure we have a. Ah, crap. Over here. Well, it's night, so at least uh, it doesn't seem like there are that many people active in the camp, at least. Let's refill our ammunition and go. No use hanging around here for. Also, we might want to grab the G28 on our way out. But let's focus on the prisoners first and make sure that they can escape. Chances are with this size operation, the jail cells unlock automatically when the power goes out. So we take out the Jenny. We gotta find it first. Come on. Why would you have a system that uh, unlocks the cell doors when power goes out? Why would you have such a system? I mean, uh, never mind. Let's just uh, 
hope it actually works that way. I got a Sicario over here. I don't see him. Let's just find... Yeah, I see the generator. It looks like we can grab the... Uh, yeah, we... That turret needs to go if we are going to uh, secure the... Check it out. Weapons case. This will go nice with my boots. Let's actually switch to the G28. The G28 is a sweet weapon. And we have all the parts we need for it. Uh, let's make sure, let's stick with the ACOG for now. Uh, extended magazine. Uh, full grip. Uh, yeah, let's put on a rangefinder. Standard barrel and of course a suppressor and the RAL 8000 paint job. That'll give us a bigger punch at range, and that is actually what we need right now. It also means that we need to be a bit more careful with... Uh... Fuck! Frag out. Had I known that there would be that many people in there, I would have... Fragged the place the first thing I did. Fuck, the alarm's gone off. Why on. It looks like we interrupted their dinner or something like that. We need to kill that alarm now. Fucking hell. Let's get rid of the suppressor. Frag out, we're fragging the building. Damn it! Why couldn't I just leave well enough alone? Okay. We are better off now. They don't know exactly where we are. Managed to use some of their material against them at least. Let's fall back to higher ground. Engage them at the flanks. We hit the left flank now. We hit the left flank now and go for the... Wait a minute. Uh, let's see if this works. I got a generator over here. I'll call the rebels for some Fire support. Coming. Go. Getting down. The cell doors must be unlocked. Let's talk to one of these prisoners. See what we can find out about the disappearance. Yeah, let's uh, just hope he survives the ensuing fight. Helicopter inbound. God fucking damn it. Get the fuck down. If you want to snipe at me, at least do a good job. Set a blanket to engage with the rebels. The rebels are breaking out en masse. Yeah, the rebels have that floor secure. Ceasefire. up to the rebel leader now. Hello, we need to talk to you. Hey, I need your help with something. We've been trying to figure out what happens to the people who disappear in San Mateo. What happens to them is El Pozolero. The stew maker? But what does he do with the bodies? Where are they? He takes the corpses and stuffs them into oil drums, then covers them with lejia. What's the English? Lie. Caustic soda. See, si. Sosa Caustica. Within a few days, the bodies in the old drums well. There are no bodies left to find. So now we've got a name. We need more info on El Pozolero. 
a way to go after him. He's the only one who can lead us to any of the remains. Nomad, I've gone through those files you snagged in Rosario. There's nothing on the missing people in there. Is there anything on El Pozolero? We got a description of a truck that makes his regular deliveries, but nothing on the truck's route or its schedule. It's like this truck just roams the countryside and anybody putting back just vanishes. Well, it isn't supernatural. Here, the Rosario's files have info on the truck's route. I'm sending it to you now. Get your mitts on the driver and make him tell you his final destination. That's where all the remains will be. Got it. Alright, let's grab a submachine gun and go after the truck. There's a helicopter neatly placed in this region, so we can use that one for exfiltration. Let's grab the MP5 and see what skills we have available. Uh, more stamina is always nice, so let's grab that. You need that helicopter above us. Let's hope it doesn't interfere. Off we go. I'm good to go. Yeah. Let's check out uh, the map if we have. Yeah, we have the According truck right to there. Our intel, there's a cartel death truck that collects corpses across San Mateo and delivers them to someone called El Pozolero. Intercept the truck and force the driver to give up El Pozolero's location. Will do. I'll run out. I think just landing in front Arms should do it. We need this fucker alive. He's already got to load him back, full of goddamn bodies. Uh, apparently not. Yeah, they're on alert. Alright, let's see if we can... Yeah, I think this is a bad thing to do with a helicopter. Come and think of it. Ah, crap, we killed the guy. Too bad you can't mount that truck. Let's see. Fortunately for me, mission fail is not the same thing as dying. So, I don't actually lose anything here. Or rather, I lose a bit of a... <sighs> I lose ego, basically. It would have been nice to basically do everything without a mission fail, but... Ah, oh, god damn it. Let's just wait for this to load and we should be good to try again. Of course we need... Oh, there's actually a cartel medal over here. We might as well grab that one. We're not going to start Rebel Radio because that is pretty much suicide at this point. Let's see if we can find a halt stay. Thank you. We're gonna be taking your car now and uh, messing with the cartel. I hope Let's you go. are okay with that. Son of a bitch. Yeah, my driving ain't the best. Uh, death truck up ahead. Let's try not to kill the driver this time. Three hundred and fifty meters and closing. Let's 
Let's see if we can get the, the that thing out off the road. Alive. He's already got a load in back, full of goddamn bodies. Say the word, boss. No, don't light him up. Ready? Open fire. Do it. Now. I'm on new fire on these shitheads. As long as you only hit the truck and don't cease fire. Fire. Open fire. Copy that. I want you to make sure you only hit the truck and not the actual driver. Try to make certain of that, alright? Okay, driver's out. Let's go. <sighs> I'm unarmed! I'm unarmed! I'm on this side. UL Puzzle Arrow. For serious? <laughs> Fuck no, I'm not that Diablo. I just drive the truck away, nada más. Tell me his name and where to find him. His name's Raul something. Raul Morillo. You sure you want me to tell you where he is? Motherfucker, tell me where El Pozzolero is. I ran out of patience two days ago. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Pero you wish you'd never found out. Okay, just Bowman, this is Nomad. The driver gave us El Pozzolero's real name, Raul Morillo. He also gave up Pozzolero's location. Outstanding. I'll run Murillo's name and send whatever background I can find. This one's weird, Bowman. These cartel goons are staying away from El Pozolero like he's got the plague. That might be why there's such little chatter about him. Be careful. There's a lot of unknowns here. Just make sure he's alive. Otherwise, we'll never get confirmation on these missing people. We just got a file transfer for- Let's find out who this guy is. When I was a kid, we used to live over the train tracks. Every time a train went past, I would run into my mother's bed, and she'd assure me there was no such thing as monsters. She was such a liar. El Pozzolero, also known as the Stewmaker. Sometimes the cartel needs a dead body to completely disappear without a trace. In such cases, they ship the cadavers off to San Mateo. The first thing El Pozzolero does is place the bodies inside a barrel which he fills with caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, then covers the drums, stirring occasionally. After 24 hours, there's nothing left but a thick sludge, a stew. He pours this into a pit. Any leftover teeth or bone fragments, he smashes into dust. Last year, more than 300 people disappeared in San Mateo. Their families have no idea if their loved ones are alive or dead. They can't have proper burials. They can't have closure. The only one who knows what truly happened to these people is El Pozzolero, the monster who melted them. Okay, let's see. We don't have uh, his location just yet. Roman. Looks like she was able to dig up some background on El Pozzolero. I don't like... We've got a locus. We've got no idea what we're walking into. I'm getting, like, tense, you know? Kind of like a little nervous. Like Bowman said, there are a lot of variables in play. There ain't a lot of variables. We just don't know what they are, so we're taking everything into account. We need a covert way in. I want to see El Pozzolero before he sees us. Well, we just got that thing, so... Let's just... We've got a location on El Pozzolero. Go and get this bastard and bring him to me. He's got a lot to answer for. Well, looks like we've just got a new job as delivery drivers. Considering how people really don't like this truck, it is hopefully that people will not pay that much attention to it. So we're gonna use this truck and basically we'll just drive it straight into El Pozzolero's camp. Then we're gonna get in there, grab the guy, and find another car to get us out. If we can do this correctly, we can probably do this without raising the alarm. Shut off the fucking radio, I don't want to hear that priest. base now. We just have to keep cool and let him wave us through. Copy all. Let's 
So far, so good. Let's park this thing right. Christ, the fuck is it? Death, man. Fucking death. Okay, let's park the truck right behind this car, and then we'll use the other car when we need to exfiltrate. I got eyes on El Pazolero. Remember, we need him alive. Manos arriba, let me see those hands. Hola, señores. We got him. You're taller than the usual delivery people. They only suspect us at this point. Let's go. Mierda. We got a Sicario. I don't care where you got a Sicario. We're not engaging. We're getting the hell out of here. With some speed as well, I might add. Overnight, I should probably have me also. You're bear. Like a teddy bear. Oh, it's not what you think. I'm not overly afraid of the dark, but Pepito will think I'm cheating on him. Nidia Flores once gave me a jirafa azul, and Pepito said the nastiest things to him. I had to spank him. Pepito, that is, not the giraffe. Is this guy for real, or is he fucking with us? I think he's fucking for real. Something kept his mind from growing up the whole way. Do all Americans curse as much as you do? I'm supposed to wash away an American this week, but he hasn't arrived yet. Not that it would matter to me if he cursed much or not. I just do my job. I don't judge other people. Wash away an American? You mean put this American in a barrel and cover him with lye? Claro que sí. Some of the other men with guns, they call me El Pozolero, the stew maker. But I don't make stew. I, I don't even eat stew. You just dissolve bodies in barrels of lye. Great. I bury them too. Sometimes. Why are you looking at me like that? It's not like I kill these people. Pepito would never let me do that. Why wouldn't he? Because it's not part of my job, of course. Are you sure we can't go back for Pepito? I'm sure. Don't worry. We'll let him know there weren't any giraffes or any other animals. Gracias. No doubt he'll still pout about being left behind. But if you say it can't be helped, then I suppose it can be helped. Whoever decided this road is a maniac. Well, that went fairly well, I would say. Come on, you fucker. We have a meeting for you to arrange. Unfortunately, it's not a meeting with you with a six foot grave. Inigo Morales, district court judge, disappeared on his way home from work. Octavio Rodriguez, student activist, kidnapped by a gang of armed men outside a local bar, never seen again. Mirabel Castro, School teacher, last seen at an Unidad checkpoint in Santa Cruz. I remember her. She had beautiful skin, like an angel. There's a thousand more like them in this stack, you son of a bitch, and that's just this year. Every one of them had a family. People out of their minds with grief because their loved ones are gone. But they were dead. What else could I do? Midas thinks he's got the mind of a child. Probably has no idea what you're talking about. Well, he'd better have a fucking photographic memory. I want the names of every single person you put in one of those drums. I don't care how long it takes. Do you understand me? Yes. Okay. Then you will take me back, verdad? I must get back to work. Can be interesting that getting back from the cutscene takes so much time loading. One would think that uh, it would just be to put me back, you know, where I was, but obviously not. Wouldn't it be fun if the game just crashed now and I had to redo the thing all over again? In fact, I'm kind of terrified that that would happen, because that went so well, I don't think I can do it again. Not uh, with such grace and style. I can handle stupid, and I can handle grim, but I sure don't like seeing them in one package. He's not exactly stupid. 
He's emotionally underdeveloped. He didn't learn the proper way to react to the dead. Like, his brain broke? He's disassociating. Exactly. I, for one, am not gonna let my kids burn ants anymore. Big news. Sueño told El Muro to take out La Plaga, but instead of killing his kid brother, El Muro's trying to sneak him out of the country. So Sueño's right-hand man is turning against him. Even better. We know where La Plaga is. Let's wrap this up. I'm tired of execution videos. This will be our pleasure. Alright, let's have a look here. And actually, I'm not supposed to click that. Um, let's uh, go to um, the Kingslayer Files. And see it. Oh, wait. That's that's the wrong one. Uh, I want the one for La Plaga, actually. Uh, so we'll go to La Cruz and check the Kingslayer Files. Of course, there's no video for La Plaga there. Let's go to the cartel overview and uh, check the security files. That is uh, about La Plaga. Let's see if we can find uh, the one I'm actually looking for. Uh, because we just basically missed a video. Yeah, here we go. La Plaga's response to the attacks proved he did not understand that the most basic function of a drug trafficking organization is to make money. What does your father do? He's a Algon. A lookout? See. Si. He hasn't been doing his job, has he? I don't know. Killing innocent people does not help you. Just the opposite. It alienates the people you need most. It sends them into the arms of your enemies. Who is really your brother? Tu carnal? The man you grew up with? Fought with? Bled with? Grew rich with? Or some guy whose mother got fucked by your father? La Plaga has gone too far. You know what you must do. I thought it was only fair to let Del Muro take care of his little brother. He would do it quickly, mercifully. Nothing like what I saw in the videos. I am not my brother's keeper. That's the Bible. That's God. Run. El Mudo chose to go against the word of God. Alright, we might as well take care of um, La Plaga as well. I don't really see why not. So, La Plaga is right now over here. Which means that we have to do a lot of traveling. Uh, from San Mateo to Itaqua. And yeah, there's actually a helicopter up here, so we might try and grab that one. I've got the bike. Actually, that's in, in the middle smack dab me. of a Unidad outpost, so let's not go there. Uh, but let's start heading towards uh, La Cruz Bravo. Like I said earlier, I'm not allowed to use fast travel. Not even in... Oh, God, no. I should not be allowed on a bike. Can you imagine if I had died from that? Can you just imagine if I had died from a motorcycle accident with permadeath on? God damn it. I would have been so fucking salty about that. Oh, dear Lord. I shouldn't be allowed on a, on a motorbike. And I picked this because I thought it would be the faster way, you know? Uh, we can only hope that uh, the Unidad at the checkpoint thinks that uh, Camara's uniform Yo, means I that she's work. part of uh, their little operation. There's also a base in the hills, but uh, yeah. We'll take a chopper when we find one, but until then, we'll just head towards La Plaga. It's about a mile away. I mean, I don't really see uh, any reason why we shouldn't take out La Plaga now. So we might as well do, do that. keep our eyes up and let's not collide with the train colliding with the train would be a horrible idea at this stage oh 
Also, just write a comment in chat in case the, in the case is that you were just watching this hoping I will actually die and think there will be some kind of rage induced rant to come with it. Come on, it's the only reason people watch Permadef uh, streams anyway. <sighs> so, let's try and avoid motorcycle accidents, shall we? I mean, Cavera really looks good on a bike, too. I mean, there's a lot of things about this game that just fits Cavera's personality. I mean, Cavera would be a really good main character in uh, Ghost Recon Wallet. I mean, um, she already basically had a DLC where she hunted the cartel in the Rainbow Six DLC, but... Um, Oh yeah, I, I just remembered. Since we're heading into a news new zone, and this is more jungle and trees like that, we are actually going to go to the loadout, and uh, Midas, uh, special outfits, you get your first one back. And uh, same thing with you, Holt. You all get your primary outfits back, since this will be a covert operation, and we are most likely going to spend most of the time inside. Also, I can't get over how nice the weather and lightning effects in this game are. I mean, they just look amazing. Especially when there's rain and uh, sunshine and stuff like that. And also how uh, you can see the effects of uh, water on clothing and stuff like that. I mean, it's been it's been a one and a half years, and I still can't get over it because it just looks pretty damn amazing, really. That said, we're still not. I haven't seen anything like this since I was in the sandbox. Sandbags, barbed wire, observation posts. The rebels must be giving Santa Blanca hell. Bet these cartel assholes never thought they'd be spending their time dodging snipers and IEDs. <laughs> Karma sure can be a bitch sometimes. Alright. We have reached Itaqua now, so it's not much left. Basically just 7 kilometers to the safe house. Once at the safe house, we'll take a stock on, the, on inventory and then head towards La Plaga. And yes, this is gonna take a bit of time. Like I said, I do not allow myself to use fast travel and using a helicopter can also be a bit tricky since I don't want to incur the wrath of the SAM sites. There is actually a helicopter across the street there, but, uh, let's see, yeah, it's actually in uh, one of the regions we've already cleared. But if we've made it this far on a bike, I say we can basically take the bike the rest of the way. The reason I don't allow fast travels, or spawning vehicles for that matter, is part of, I think that's part of the permadeath experience, and uh, permadeath already affects my playstyle in a big way, and uh, basically me trying to survive a bit more. Uh, but since I can't uh, fast travel or spawn some of the more powerful vehicles that I can spawn thanks to uh, the rebel support menu. Uh, I end up in a situation where I actually have to make sure where I'm driving that everything works out and it also does not give me an easy way to escape difficult situations and that's actually the most fun part. If I end up in a situation where I need heavy firepower then I need to steal the helicopter first. I can't just I can't just spawn it and uh, then go to town with rockets. We have a base up in the hills here with, that actually do have a helicopter. We might as well take that one. Do 
We're gonna try and stay as quiet as possible. Deploying drone. Uh, okay, there's one guard by the helicopter. There's also a couple of guys right there. I'm calling for indirect fire. They sure as hell do now. Yeah, but there's not that many left who can actually react to this. They know we're here. All right, I one behind us, tangos. but uh, our guys got him. Let's go. Swept and clear. We're clear over here. I'll pilot. Oh, All aboard. I'm good. Crank it. Yeah, are you coming or not? Yeah, let's just assume you went on board. Let's go. Let's watch Firebase Armadillo. We don't want the Firebase to take hot shots at us. Just double check so that we are on course, we are on course. And let's climb a bit so we don't get into the path of that unit at Helicap. Coming up on the safe house now, two kilometers and close. There's a oh crap, there's a Sam site. Nomad, put a pin in whatever you're working on. I've no, we're not going to talk to What do you need? I'm tasking you with support. No, we're not going to be support for Operation Watchman. We're not going to No, we don't need to talk to that guy. We're not going to talk to Sam Fisher. We're not going to do the Sam Fisher mission now, for that matter. Nomad, this is Matchwood. How do you read? Matchwood? I read you five by five. I'm in country without my usual team. A girl says you're pipe hitters who know the neighborhood. You tell us what you need, we'll make it happen. I'm going to want somebody to watch my back. I'll drop you a line when I'm in position. Roger that. Look, this is not the time to be playing cowboy. Tread lightly. Don't drop any bodies unless I give you the word. You copy. Understood. This is a stealth op. Yeah, match what I was. Looks like we're riding shotgun with Sam Fisher. Buddy of mine. We went to Paladin 9 Security. Worked with Fisher on a K&R in South America. Reliable as hell, but not a guy you invited for dinner with the family. I guess he's had it rougher than most. Lost both his parents when he was a kid. Apparently somebody faked his daughter's death. He's been shot. All right, let's head for La Plaga. Stabbed, tortured, and that bastard's still ticking. Like. Rasputin or something. That takes something powerful to keep at it after all that shit happens to you. Fisher has spent decades walking side by side with death. That's tough. Sometimes I think about the bad things we do for the good of our country. We travel overseas, take some lives, ruin others. I'd do it all again in a heartbeat. But I still don't know if I'd go as far as Sam Fisher does. Yeah, we're not gonna do Operation Watchman. I'm not a masochist. I mean, I had problems enough with that mission the first time I did it. And trying it on permadeath mode? No thanks. Not doing it. Uh, 
we're not in the, even in the same region, frankly. So let's deal with La Plaga instead. He's a bit more of a more manageable threat. La Plaga's getting ready to flee the country with his big brother. We can't let that happen. Take out La Plaga before he gets away. Looks like uh, El Muro still have uh, cartel sicarios loyal to his cause. Yeah, just because you found a body doesn't mean you're actually going to survive this cartel asshole. All right, move up. Let's drone the place and see what we can find. All right, so there's one guard uh, on the courtyard. They suppress people. We don't Here's want to house. warn the La Plaga to come. We kill him now, so we don't have to kill him later. Move quickly, but don't rush. Tango down. Another tango by the. F one with He's deaths. down. Keep an eye out. There's one in the house, up to the left. We're not gonna clear it. We're just gonna keep moving. Keep an eye out. Clear. Back it up. Back it up. Fuck is that? Wheat smoke? Smoke more like crack rock. See what you will about La Plaga. Dude knows how to throw a going away party. Tango's down. Two tangos are gone. He's down. Two Sicarios. Right by that stack of tires. Let's grab this medal. Five skill points. That's nice. Okay, here they come. Baby makes three. Civilians in the area. Check Watch your targets. targets. We got civilians in the area. Back it up. They're gonna see you. Looks like party people. Tango's down. Keep right, moving. Breathe easy. I don't think I we want to sweep the here. other house. Where you got him? The hacienda. Inside. Okay. Uh, scratch that. There are at least three in the other building. We'll just keep it going this way. These guys got brands. Uh, probably a bit spoiled by La Plaga. This must be where he shoots some of his videos. El Pozzolero barrels. Tango down. Keep it quiet. We don't want to alert the fucker that we're coming. Got eyes on La Plaga. Let's take him down. Well do. Ah, like crap! He's running for it. I'm hearing engine noise. I'm riding the motorcycle. We're not letting this fucker escape. Hear me? the fuck builds an escape tunnel like this anyway? I wonder how we got the... He he out. La Plaga's got nowhere left to run. We start taking fire, you put him down. First chance you get. Alright, take cover. One down. Opening fire. Skip the suppressors and advance. Frag out. Frag out. Come in here. We g I got the guy before he threw it. If we can take out La Plaga with a knife, that would be nice, but I don't expect to be able to do such luxury. Frag La Plaga out. has nice training, so the sadly I don't think... Yeah, we got him. La Plaga is down. Confirm the kill. La Plaga down. Repeat. 
plague is dead. Only a matter of time before El Muro finds out his little brother is gone. Hopefully we can deliver. Wait. Shitballs. All right. I've got the C4 primed. I would stay away from there if I were you. I'm planning to blow the shit out of that place. Can't go down. Give it up, La Plaga. You got nowhere to go. That was fucking close. Yeah, La Plaga's not even alive anymore. I see the guy. There's only such thing as making sure. Area is clear. Rally on me. Go. Copy. And that is... Jag kommer antagligen försöka se till att eh, klara spelet innan vi kör Tire One. Jag vill eh, inte eh, sabotera någonting som faktiskt har gått rätt bra i onödan. Men, anyway, sorry for switching to Swedish there for a moment, but we are done now. We've actually managed to get two places. So we're gonna grab our just reward. We are going to wait for this to load, and we are going to grab two prestige crates. And we go to the battle crates page, and we switch to the prestige crate and see what we get. Of course, that was already uh, an item we had already unlocked, fashion sunglasses. I don't know what's fashionable about those, those look like fucking shit. Let's see what's in the other crate. And that's also an item already unlocked. We got the ankle boots. I mean, isn't it nice with all the tactical shit you can get in this thing? I mean, wouldn't you want to wear these at a, uh, at a secret military operation? Wouldn't you? Okay, so basically we got three boxes left until we get a free one. And uh, that actually reminds me... Uh, Ah, never mind. We're not gonna check that now, anyway. Uh, thanks for staying with me, and this has been really fun. We've been at it for about one and a half hour. And we actually got a lot of shit done. We managed to take down La Plaga and stop El Pusolero. So, see you guys next time. But now I have some stuff to do around the house, and it's going to be nice. Catch you later.